Hello, welcome back to Satis uh, Factorio. So I've been hard at work on my factory, making some attunements, making some changes. I haven't changed anything over here at the steel place, but I did run into a slight problem. You see all those red lights? Oh yeah, that means uh, we're low on power. And whenever you have a power situation, you have to address that first because with no power, all systems are down. You're not producing anything. All of these machines are going to waste. You could be doing so much more. Luckily, this couldn't have come at a better time because we have a new rank of miner. We can get, instead of 120 coal from the mine that we had before, we can get a load more. We can get like 240. Uh, and we've got the materials to do it, so we're going to upgrade our coal power plant from 12 coal power plants to 24. So building something like this is going to take a lot of materials. Now you can see in the right, I've, uh, I've marked off on my to-do list a miner mark two and a coal generator, 12 of them. We're also going to need a lot of the new conveyor belts. And I've taken the liberty of unlocking all of the new stuff. I unlocked logistics three, which gave me conveyor belts mark three. They can take 270 resources per minute, which is great because we're going to make like 240. So we're going to have room to spare. However, it's a long conveyor belt that we're going to need. So we're going to need a few of these steel beams. Luckily, we're over here at the steel plant, so we can definitely take care of that before we go. We're also going to need a portable miner, but that's already there. We can get that when we salvage the last miner, Mark 1. So we should be good. But, oh man, how am I going to fit 24 coal generators near to each other? They're big machines. I guess they don't have to be near to each other. But I'd like to keep everything in the same place. So we're likely to need a lot of cable. That's going to be, uh, that's going to come in handy. We're going to need a lot more of these steel beams. I came to a mini realization as well when I was out here. Because this area is, is all about coal. We've got some iron. We've got some coal. So what we should be doing is making steel out here. What we shouldn't be doing is making motors. Because motors need a lot of iron production. And we don't want to do that. Instead what we're going to do is dedicate this whole area here. Because the concrete's here. To just making a few things. So the only things we're going to be making out here are steel beams, steel pipes, encased industrial beams, and stators. We're not going to make motors. Instead, we're going to send the stators back to our main factory. And we're not going to make heavy modular frames because we're instead going to send the uh, encased industrial beams and the steel pipes back to the main factory. Why aren't we doing those? Because to do those, we'll need modular frames and rotors. And those are both pretty complex things to make. We don't have a lot of space out here. It's a big old, uh, big old area, but not big enough for all of those machines. But if we're just making stators, like we are out of these two, and we can also make uh, reinforced stuff over here, and the other steel things, we can ship them back with another tractor via the vehicle system, and send them back to the main factory, where we can then combine them with rotors and with modular frames to make the next tier of stuff. Anyway, that's that's going to happen, and, and I'll probably do a lot of that off camera, because that's going to be a lot of just picking up all of these machines, putting them down, and working out a better efficiency, because we're not 100% efficient out here either. We need to go back to Blueprint and work out the best efficiency for just making as much steel as possible, and then from steel, making the important parts. Anyway, let's get over to the coal bit and, uh, and work out how we can get 24 coal generators near to each other. So yeah, I've also taken the liberty of uh, unlocking the new oil stuff. So I can make now an oil uh, gatherer. I don't know what it's called. I guess like an oil, an oil drill. And a refinery. But before we work out what we're going to do with oil, because I think oil can become three things. It can become fuel. It can become plastic. And it can become rubber. Now I'm not sure. Yeah, so four oil makes rubber. Eight oil makes uh, five fuel. And four oil makes three plastic. I don't really know what I'm doing with these. You need wire and plastic to make circuit boards. And you need, I imagine, circuit boards, plastic, and screws to make computers. But rubber doesn't really come into anything just yet. I mean, I'm not quite sure what it's used for. Let's take a look and see if there's anything on the Q menu that I can make that requires rubber. Uh, here we go. Right. So a truck. A big old truck. It's got double the capacity almost of the tractor. Oh, it's a big old bad mother trucker. Ooh, I like it, I like it. But we're a way off getting that because we need oil to get the computer parts and the rubber. Production-wise, I, I, now what I really want to do is try out a manufacturer. I don't know what this thing is. It's got what it looks like. It's got four inputs, 
which, uh, oh man, if that isn't exciting, I don't know what is. I'm just totally nerding out over the idea of a manufacturer, but I, I, I really want to see what it can do. But anyway, an oil pump, that's in the to-do list now as well. Okay, let's get this power situation fixed. So I did the math, and actually, uh, oh wow, this is quite close to the other coal vein, isn't it? It's pretty cool. I did the math, and when you look at it, this uses one piece of coal every 5.5 seconds, roughly. That means it's going to go through 12 coal a minute, and so you can roughly have about 10 of these on 120 per minute coal. We're going to go to 240, and this supported 12, so I reckon it'll support 24. Oh man, it's nice having all these workbenches lying around. Very nice. Alright. Bye bye Miner Mark 1. Say hello to Miner Mark 2. Now it's important to get this, uh, the, your power system upgraded before it reaches critical for one big reason. That's because our power comes from this Miner Mark 2. If we can't turn this thing on, then we just can't get the power anyway. So uh, that's that's a pretty important step. So zero, I've got marked down. Oh no, wait, I think it's one, three, those are mark twos. Press Q, go to logistics, and we're gonna put conveyor belt mark three on our number one hotbar key. Oof, have I got enough room for all this coal if I, um... Yeah, we'll take out, we're gonna leave the conveyor poles, because they're actually a good way of us to um, keep the same route without having to remap things. That's why it's nice that it leaves the poles behind. It means you can upgrade your uh, your conveyor belts very simply in the future. And this is as far as we'll need the new conveyor belts, because this is where it splits off into two separate conveyors. Boom. Okay. So the conveyor belt Mark III is in operation. As soon as this bad boy's hooked up, that's going to be sending coal at a million miles a minute. Actually, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to build foundations up so that these coal power plants are going to stagger backwards. And when you're looking at it from the space elevator, it's going to look a lot more impressive. We'll build up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. And no, let's stick with seven. That'll give us loads of space. And we're going to come across here the same distance as we have with the coal power plants there. Okay, a nice big platform. We're going to need a ramp to get up here as well, so we'll replace this one with a ramp. And now it's time to do another layer of these foundations. Now, as you can see also, uh, I messed around with the paint gun, and uh, I've redesigned our first iron mines over here. I've re, uh, re kind of redesigned them completely. We've got minor Mark IIs now instead of Mark Ones. Got loads of smelters, color-coded, because these smelters, the yellow ones, are making plates, and the orange ones are making rods into screws. And then these assemblers here are all making reinforced plates. And that's about all that this system can support. But it's good. It's good. We're getting a lot of plates. Obviously, we're backed up at the moment because uh, we've got some issues with power. But it's a very efficient setup. Okay, foundation set up. Let's put down some coal power. Oh, yeah. Coal generators. So you want to get the first one lined up with the back. Ah, no, that's fine. Okay, we're going to line these up. Oh, yeah, boy, more coal power plants. Just when you thought we didn't have enough, bam, we got even more. Okay, so there's room for six. So we've got six and six. So half of uh, this is going to come this way, split there. The other half, we can split here. Have this conveyor belt split this way. And... Uh, Build a big old platform up this side as well. Why not? We can do that. Okay, and back to power plants. Now we've got 6, 12, 18 plugged in already. That should be enough to start our systems again. Okay, looks like we should be good to go. Let's pull the lever. Oh, back in business already. Look at that. Look at that healthy margin. And like I said, our power instantly drops back to below where we need to be. So even when some of these power plants go off, shouldn't be too much of an issue. This bar is only going to go down as some machines kind of lose their efficiency, get clogged up, do all that stuff. If we had a proper factory that was working quite well with 100% efficiency, this bar will be a lot more consistent and we wouldn't have so many power fluctuations. But because we built a bad factory so far, we, uh, we have uh, a very unpredictable power line. Right, so next up, another splitter. Say goodbye to this conveyor belt. It's going to become a conveyor splitter. Park it there. 
We need Mark II on these belts. Because there's 120 coming out of this thing. I was so neat with this before. All that's gone for naught. Oh, here comes the coal already. Nice. Now the power line's the most important part, I suppose. There we go. Boom. So now our capacity is 1,200. Again, and that's over double what we're using. Perfect. We should be set for a long time to come. Let's go over to the main part of our Gigafactory and see what this has actually kind of done to our skyline. Have we got like a coal-filled backdrop now? Oh yeah, look at that. I like the way they're raised. So that's a bit janky. We can put some foundations under that so they look like they're not floating. But that, oh, look at all those, look at all those coal power plants. Nice. Okay, so we're going to jump into the spruce moose now, the sugar cube, and maybe bring our zapper. Or maybe even make a new one. We can make a new zapper, can't we? The xeno zapper or the xeno basher. Let's do it. Let's try this thing out because this looks pretty cool. This is a basher, not a zapper. So I can't wait to see what it does. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is a sword. Oh, uh, yeah. Hunting crude. Crude oil. Black gold. That direction, Captain. 2,000 meters. Oh, it's not close, is it? It's going to take a lot of power poles to get power that far out. Okay, another scan. Where is this oil? Do we want to try and take that guy out? Oh, I guess we have to now. Oh my god. Heat seekers? What the hell? Okay, let's give him a slam. Oh my god. Oh, he hits hard. Did I get him? Are these things still chasing? Oh my god. Get in the car. Whew, okay, safe. Oh. He is trying though, isn't he? All right, mates. Let's have some berries. Yum, yum, yum. Back up to decent health. And do a bit of a scan now. Scanning for crude oil. Are oh, you joking? How am I... How am I supposed to get over there? Let's just build a straight bridge. Alright! Let's get the car. Get to the oil. So where else were the deposits of oil? There's one there. It's one there. Oh, it's oil. Oh, it's all on this island, isn't it? It's oil island. That's super cool, but uh, also kind of sucks because this is so far away. I do need to build a bridge to get over this thing, but I've done that. It's a bit thin. A tractor can just about make it, but I don't know how much I would trust AI going over this super skinny bridge. Oh, look at that. The black stuff. Black gold. Oil. Mmm. So I'm going to have to smash through these Explodo plants, because they're going to be an issue. Bam. Oh my god! What? What? My... <laughs> what am I meant... Oh! What am I meant to do now? I've only gone and pranged it. Bloody hell. Can I demolish? I can demolish! Excellent. Ah, oh, okay. Whew. I don't want to die out here, though. Look at all this stuff I've got. I've got loads of stuff. So can I scoop it up with my hands? Cannot be picked up. Aha! Perfect. Well, I brought all the tools I need to get it anyway. Oil pump. Bam, 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 bam. Look at this, though. Look at these islands. They're pretty cool. And it looks like there's some more oil over there. We could just spend some time out here and set up a whole base. A whole forward expedition base. Just start from scratch over here. Why not? I can get three oil refineries up. One of them can be dedicated to making power. One of them can be dedicated to make plastic. And one of them can be dedicated to making rubber. It's not a bad idea. Oh, this is so much oil. So much oil. I love it. So we can... I think what we're going to do is we're not going to ferry the oil back from here because one I'm not sure if I can I'm gonna check this oil drill but I have a feeling that it's gonna be liquid form and I'm not gonna be able to interact with it oh no it's drums drums oh and it makes a lot it makes a lot super quick I can definitely take back a few drums if I just hang tight I can load up my car just drive the tractor close 
Because machines and stuff are cool, but the only thing that's cooler than machines is unlocks. If I can get some more unlocks, I can uh, do exactly what I need to do back at the hub. So I'm going to load up my car with crude oil. Yeah, okay, so let's think about this. Plan of attack. Come back here with a lot of foundations. We're going to foundation the hell out of this area. I kind of want trains. I kind of want trains to get the oil back, to be honest. If I can build a railway track all the way out here. Oh, man, that would be so good. And trains are coming. I think next month or, or a month after, May, maybe. Oh, one thing is for sure, though. This much crude oil is going to be enough for me to test out the manufacturer. The big old machine that I haven't had a chance to test out yet. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to head on home, so I will see you guys next episode. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out the store. There's some interesting products for you to buy, maybe a t-shirt. Also, becoming a member of the channel uh, via YouTube memberships is another way to support me. I thank you if you decide to do that, but there's no obligation at all. That's it from me. Until next time, take care.